Hello everybody, thank you for joining us for today's Facebook Live. Today we're going to be talking to you about law fairs and how they are such a fantastic opportunity for you to be able to start your legal career by getting to know different law firms, um, where you can find out more information and also law schools. Um, so I'm going to get to that in a second. If you haven't met me before, I'm Sam Hope and I'm the Graduate Recruitment Manager at Shoe Smiths. Um, I'm joined today by Gabs, who's a trainee solicitor at Shearsmiths, and he's about to go into his second year. So I just want to check before we go any further that you can hear me loud and clear. So just hit the wow face so we can, uh, so we know that you can hear us. Um, when I was thinking about law fairs, I thought it'd be really interesting to look back at the stats and look at um, how many law fairs I will have attended as a graduate recruitment manager. And I estimated it would be around 120 law fairs over the last eight years. Um, yeah, I know, I was shocked too. That's a lot, isn't it? And that's just law fairs. That's not even all of the other events that we go to. Um, and that's not even including the law fairs I attended as a law student myself either before before working. So. Um, we definitely don't expect you to go to 120, don't worry, um, <laughs> but one or two would be really good for you to find out a bit more about law firms. Um, so that's enough about me, I want to know whether you've attended a law fair um, or a careers fair and I just want you to type it into the comments and let me know where you, where you attended a law fair. Um, I'm really interested in your responses because I want to know if they are law fairs that we attend or if they're in areas of the country that we don't currently go to. It'd be really good for us to um, see in terms of the viewers today where you're attending. So um, I'm going to hand over to Gabs to introduce himself and while he does, if you just type into the comments where you've attended a law fair. Hello everyone, uh, my name's Gabs Rodriguez. Uh, I am just finishing my second seat here. Uh, as you can probably tell by my face, I'm not a conventional route, I'm not straight from law school. Uh, I was an actor for my 20s and did a lot of other things besides. Um, but uh, I've now done real estate and finishing in recoveries at Shoesmiths. Yeah. Thank you, Gabs. So the way we're going to run this video today is I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why we attend law fairs and why we think it's important for you to as well. And then we're going to share our top tips with you in terms of preparing for a law fair, on the day, attending, and then what to do afterwards to make sure that you get the most out of the experience. Um, we're also going to talk to you a little bit about freebies as well, um, a little perk to any careers fair that you might attend. At the end, we will take questions from you. So at any point during this video, you can type a question into the comments and we will pick that up for you at the end. So to start off then, why, um, why do Shoesmiths attend law fairs? Why are they important to us? So for us, it's all about um, getting to meet you, um, getting to know you a bit better. Um, it's a fantastic place for you to attend because there's so many different law firms all in one place, all ready to talk to you and share knowledge and um, answer any of your questions. So for you, it's a great opportunity that you're getting to see a number of different law firms that you might be interested in. I think to get the most out of um, the day, you need to do some preparation in advance. It's easy to think that just turning up to a law fair on the day, not knowing anything, not knowing any law, you're out of it if you prepare. For us as well, for me personally, I really enjoy going to law fairs because I get to see other recruiters. Um, it's really easy to think that we're all rivals um, at competitor law, law firms, but actually we're, we're part of a really great community um, through the ISE, which is the Institute for Student Employers. And that means that we actually do collaborate quite a lot between law, uh, law firms. And it's a great chance um, to catch up with those colleagues from other, other firms as well as our publishers who we work with quite regularly as well, like Law Careers Net, All About Law and Lex 100. So they're almost always at law fairs giving out promotional materials um, and information that is going to help you to succeed in your law career. Um, I think as well for our trainees, it's really good fun to be on the other side of the table. So once you've secured your training contract, it's a great opportunity to come out there and then share your knowledge back with the students um, and perhaps grab a few freebies for yourself as well. <laughs> um, at the law fairs, we're, you, on our stand, we usually have graduate recruitment, so me and a couple of members of our team, um, trainees, and also some solicitors and partners. And we think it's really important to have a broad range of representatives on the day so that you can tailor your questions to different levels um, of the firm. 
So trainees, for example, will be able to give a really good insight into the day of life, whereas graduate recruitment will be able to give you a bit more information about the application process. We really encourage all of our representatives to be really honest in the advice that they give um, and give you that insider information that you might not, well, you definitely wouldn't be able to find on the website. Um, on the, at the law fair, we want you to think, um, when you're talking to law firms, um, would those people be the type of people you would like as your colleagues in the future? And that will give you a really good indication of whether that's the right firm for you. You'll be able to work out the vibe that that firm has, the culture, and just get to know the people a little bit better. Um, so Gabs, I wanted to ask you, how's your experience differed from being attending law fairs as a student to now as a trainee? Uh, I think seeing it from the trainee's point of view is, uh, is really interesting in so far as when you're at a law fair, obviously, generally speaking, you've only got yourself to go off. And so you know what you're bringing to the table, you think you know what you're bringing to the table, and uh, someone like myself, I've got a lot of energy, I've got a lot of enthusiasm, but actually kind of being on the other side of the table and, and seeing what different people bring. I, I, I've always been really impressed by people who clearly have done their research, where their, where their questions that, that have come in have gone, okay, you've taken your time out to, to, look at, to, to look at the firm and you're not just asking me a question that could be asked of, of any law firm. And you can, you can always tell when someone's just given themselves a bit of time to do that. I think it always shows across, you know, in, in, in their interest as well but yeah that I think that's been a very interesting insight yeah, yeah. okay so we're going to move on to talking about preparations really important universities that you that host law fairs will be able to give you a list of all of the firms that are attending and certainly on our website we've got a list of the ones we're attending so you can go and have a look at that and we'll share the link to that list um, on this video afterwards as well so you can go and go and check it out I think the important thing to mention here is that you're not going to be able to talk to every single firm or certainly not really in depth for every firm so have a, a list of target firms that you want to talk to, I'd say around six, where you've redone some research in advance, you've had a look on the website, you've had a look at the social media, you've opened the application form if it's avail available, and, um, and that you just know a little bit about them. And then you can go in and seek them out at the law fair first, before then perhaps chatting to a few others. For us, um, the big law fairs that we attend, so Manchester and Nottingham, for example, there's so many firms represented, there's no way you'd get around all of them. So do pick out the ones you want to target. I would say as well to prepare around four questions for each of those firms. So not, the same, not necessarily the same questions for each, but tailored to those specific firms um, about things that you've read where you want to know more information. And it's really important to make sure that you're, pre you're preparing questions that don't have answers just on the website. You need to make the most of the extra opportunity that you're getting to ask more in-depth questions. Think about what you want to know in terms of understanding life uh, in a law firm. And um, I think that you'll gain a bit of knowledge about the culture and things on the website already. So you'll have an idea of what direction you want to take the questions. So once you've prepared, at the actual law fair, my advice is when you're approaching a firm, be positive. We get a lot of people that approach uh, the stand and they start with, um, hi, I only got three C's, can I still apply? And number one, that information is already on our website. Um, three C's, yes, at Shoesmiths you can still apply. Um, but it, they approach it in quite a, um, not, not the best positive way. So my advice is start positive. I think you should be presentable as well and different um, law affairs have slightly different um, views on this and the way that uni university might prepare you to go um, but I would say just to be presentable you don't need to turn up in a suit uh, but just thinking about that first impression that you're making with a potential future employer. Um, take your jacket off, if there's a cloakroom pop your jacket and your bag in, take your headphones out um, and approach the firms with confidence. Um, and go in with a good, strong handshake as well. Yeah. It's a really safe environment to practice handshakes because if, if you've not been in that environment before, you might not have needed to do that. Um, but go in and do a nice, firm handshake, um, not a limp one. Um, and I think introduce yourself properly. So you've heard of elevator pitches and the way that you can just sum up your, yourself in a small um, introduction. Go in, shake hands and start with that. So 
how do you introduce yourself properly? Gabs, could you give us an example? Uh, yeah, so hi, uh, I'm Gabs Rodriguez. Uh, I'm a second year uh, studying law at Manchester and I'm really interested to know what it's like for you at a typical day as a trainee. Perfect. And that in that nutshell, you've just told us um, that you're a student, what year you're in, so we're already starting to understand the advice that we'll be able to give you about what stage in the application process you might be able, uh, might be in or what you might be able to apply to, so that is fantastic. Thank you, Gabs. Um, in terms of the questions, you want to show that you've done your research and ask kind of intelligent questions. Um, try and get across that you do have some prior knowledge and that will show your commitment to the firm. You want to demonstrate that you understand what we're all about. Um, if uh, we respond with some more information about something, then you can say, oh yeah, actually I read a little bit about that, it's really good to, to hear that extra information, or oh, I saw that, that case reported on Twitter, that's really interesting to know. However you come back to it, if you've got that previous knowledge, you'll be able to develop a more general conversation, which will feel more natural for you and for us. So I thought it'd be useful to co cover some of the questions um, that you could ask or you could prepare to ask at a law fair. Um, and I think that these should be tailored and be specific to the firm you are asking the questions of. So we've um, thought about some examples of some questions and Gabs is going to share some of those examples now. So, uh, for example, um, because uh, we promote you know how uh, how client focused how client orientated we are it's like how do we go about getting clients how do we serve those clients you know looking at that specifically um, but also looking like as I mentioned before kind of a day in the life of a trainee we've got our comp a corporate responsibility you know is big for us on our site it's like how have you been getting involved as a trainee on the corporate responsibility side I think that that question has been asked once or twice to me and I, I was impressed by that it's like what have you found Shoesmith's culture to be like uh, I'd back that up by saying by going a bit more uh, specific and going it's like you know I see that you you will promote yourself as being very friendly as a firm that pulls together uh, have you found that to be the case answer yes um, uh, and what other tasks have you been involved in as a trainee and that varies from office to office and it just shows a little bit of interest so so a number of questions like that just you know what it's like to work at the firm specifically yeah, yeah thank you so I guess my final point about actually being there on the day and attending law fairs is to be confident. It can be a bit intimidating. I mean, hopefully we're not intimidating. We're pretty approachable at the law fairs. But sometimes when there's lots of people behind the tables or there's lots of crowds around having conversations, it can be difficult to see where you can jump into a conversation. So it's okay to stand and wait and be patient if you've got the time. That's absolutely fine. Or if you can join in with one of the conversations that's already happening. Um, for me as a recruiter, I would much rather um, discuss the application process once to six different people <laughs> than I would do it six times over. Um, and you start to see us really flagging by the end of the day uh, when we've been going over that application process. But that's what we're there for and we want to do it. So do, do please come and get involved in the conversations that are happening. Um, persevere to make sure that you get to talk to the firms that you want to talk to. Um, and if there's a mailing list, then sign up. So we always have a mailing list on an iPad um, that you can just tap your details into. It's a really short questionnaire. It means that you sign up to our mailing list and we share them with you when our application opens, the deadlines and any other events that you might be interested in. I think um, if you're watching these uh, Facebook live videos, then you're absolutely, uh, you've got the first step right in terms of finding a bit more out about us. But signing up to our mailing list at the Law Fairs will definitely be the next step. So I want to talk to you about after the law fair. What can you do to make sure that you're making the most of the information that you've gathered? So firstly, when you're walking away, I guess, from the stand, or when you're at the stand, make some notes. Mm -hmm. Write down the person's name that you've spoken to. You can ask them, is it okay if I add you on LinkedIn, or are you on Twitter, can I follow you? Um, and I think that that shows that you're really interested in building up your networks and getting involved in developing your career at those early stages. You could also follow up with an email, not necessarily to find out more information, but just to thank the person for their time, to say that what you've spoken about has really interested you and you've gone away and done some more research. You might say that you're applying for a VAT scheme or training contract later on. Um, and I think that's a really good way to obviously get your name across and stick in somebody's mind. Um, Law, I think, is all, all becomes about networking, about building your client base, about be, building your colleagues, your confidence. Um, and so 
these these tips that we're giving you about following up after really important it's really easy to think you just go to the law fair you get the information and that's it it's done you've got all the knowledge but it doesn't really work like that you need to make the most of the opportunity as a whole so do you agree with the tips that we've shared with you? Um, just hit the like button if you do. Um, and if you've got any tips that you'd like to share, absolutely just pop them in the comments for us and we will read those out as well. So everything that we've spoken about has been really positive. We're telling you what you can do to get your, mo your best side across. Um, and that's great, but it's really easy for us to sit here and say what and be positive about it. We think that what's not covered so much is what you shouldn't be doing. Um, so we are going to touch on some of the things that we don't think you should do because it won't make the most of the opportunity. And we'll tell you a bit more about, about the reasons why as well. So um, I, th I think before we get onto that, it's really important to note that there's no silly questions, no. but some questions are more insightful than others. So do select um, those questions carefully in your preparation time. Um, so Gab, so you've got some examples to share yeah. of what not to do. Yeah, and I mean traps that are very easy to fall into I think uh, I've been asked like what do you do uh, for example and uh, that kind of shows no research uh, behind it really and, and there's a I suppose there's a number of things that you could find out are on the website for example so like um, when's your deadline for application it, it, you know th th there's interest there that's fine but also you, you can find that on the website um, what do you similarly what do you look for in a training contract uh, how can I stand out the, these things are they're, they're, they're great drivers there if you've done a bit of research you, you, you should be able to answer questions like that um, what's your top tip I can understand what, you know, the thinking behind that question, you know, you want to be positive, you want to be uh, uh, enthusiastic, but actually all those questions you'd be able to find within five minutes of research looking at Shoesmith's website. So it's just helping yourself out, backing yourself up by saying, okay, what can a little bit of research kind of get out the way first, just so you're not repeating that too much, like when you've got the opportunity at a law fair, for example. Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. So um, we're attending quite a number of law fairs this year and they are all listed on the Meet Us page on our website. So we will share that link onto the video so you can go and have um, a look at where we're going to be in the coming months. If you want us to send the list directly to you, then just comment, yes please, now into the comments and we'll make sure that we message you with the list of events that we're attending. Now, if we're not attending a law fair or university near you, or you're not at university, so you might not have access to go to these events, then that's exactly what our Shoesmith Live video series is for. This is so that we can um, reach a much broader audience than we can in person, because it's just not possible for us to get to every single law fair, as much as we do want to meet you in person. Um, so please do take this opportunity on all of our videos to ask us your questions, find out more about us, um, and treat it like a law fair where you get the information you need to know so you can type any questions into the comments now so before we move on I just want to say that you can hit the follow button and that means that you'll get notified every time that we go live um, or post interesting content onto our Facebook page if you're actually watching us on YouTube then you can subscribe to our YouTube channel which is Shoesmith's video and we post all of our Shoesmith live videos onto YouTube and of course you can ask questions on there too Right, so I'm going to take some uh, questions from you guys now, so bear with me while I pull up the questions um, and we'll have a look at what you guys are saying. So if you've got any questions, just type them into the comments for us. There's always just a slight delay in the questions <laughs> coming through. Um, let's have a look. So we've got um, a couple of people saying um, that it's key to build your network and be positive. Um, Charlotte Grace Hill has waved at us. Hi, Charlotte. <laughs> um, and we've got a couple of viewers, so hold on and bear with while some questions are coming in, hopefully. So while we're waiting for some questions, Gabs, yeah. what would your top tips be, or one top tip for attending a law fair? Um, <sighs> I think it's a top tip uh, for, for a lot of face-to-face -face situations specifically is 
energy. Just bring energy with you. Be be positive in of yourself. Uh, it, you know, it's you don't have to be the loudest person in the room. You don't necessarily have to be the mo most showy. But if you can bring that energy with you and show that enthusiasm, then uh, then I think that goes a long way to to making a good impression. Actually, yeah, I think having that confidence to approach the yeah. the firm and then showing your best side that you are interested and passionate. Yeah, absolutely, great tip. Um, so I did mention that we were going to talk a little bit about freebies as well, and I think this is something actually people <laughs> worry about as well as uh, being excited for. But how can you have a conversation and then just like swipe things off the table without, um, you know, coming across that you you were just there for the freebies? And I think the thing is, if you're having a really good conversation, then the person that you're talking to will recognise that and will automatically offer you yeah. something from the table. Now we don't actually have any written promotional material because all the information is online. Line. So we don't hand anything out on paper, but we do have a number of different freebies that we will hand out to you. Um you know, if you have a good conversation with us and if you sign up to our mailing list. Now I wanted to give you a little insight into some of the things um that we've got. So I've got a little bag here. So these are our um Shoesmith's bag of training contract bags. So Very let's simple. have a look what's inside. <laughs> And it depends which law fair or perhaps what event that you come to for what freebie you might might be on offer. So, Gabs, if I just hold, uh, hand you that to hold up. So Close. that is a smoothie jar. Now, in case you're not sure about how to make a smoothie, don't worry, because we have got a little <laughs> recipe card for you. Now, we will be handing these out all of our Insight Evenings and also Aspiring Solicitors events this year. Um, you can sign up for the Aspiring Solicitors events if you're a member via the Aspiring Solicitors website, and we'll share the links for those. And you can sign up for our Insight Evenings when the application opens a little bit later this month on our website as well. So that's the smoothie jars. Um, let's have a look what else we've got in here. So, oh, it's so handy. So I think you must have seen these sorts of things around, but they're just cables, like a USB charging cable, but with loads of different attachments, so basically suitable for any type of phone or device that you've got. Um, and so we will have those at our law fairs um, this year, so make sure you come and grab one of those from us. So, thanks, Gabs. That's very funky, yeah, I like that. Now, you might have seen um, us with Shoesmith power banks in the past at law fairs, um, and we do have some of those as well available. They're so handy to keep in your bag. I think particularly good for like festivals and things where you yeah. might not have access to charge your phone, or just keeping one in the glove box or something that's charged, ready to charge your phone. So. I've got a little uh, a little anecdote about these. Um, when I uh, when I was at law, uh, law school and I'd. Uh, uh, I'd, I'd met I'd met Shoesmith and I had one of these power banks. I was there with a number a uh, uh, number of friends from uh, uh, a magic circle firm which won't be named. And genuinely, this got so much attention and a lot of jealousy uh, from them. So you know, it's, 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 there, there's a little bit of kudos in this too. Yeah, it's, isn't it so useful to have something that is actually useful yeah. that you're going to use um, rather than um, just kind of sweets that you eat on the day, which are great, but you should see them. Um, <laughs> So, and I want to show you this. So, this is a fan. Um, it's quite warm actually today, so we could probably do with these. So, I'm just going to grab a phone to show you exactly what it does. So, it literally just pops in the bottom of your phone and then it's a fan. <laughs> that's good, isn't it? I'm genuinely that's impressed. That's so handy. Oh, yeah, that's this would have nice. been great for our heat wave. <laughs> um, and it's suitable for all different phones as well. It's got two different connectors on there. So um, have a look out for those um, exclusive that's fans. Really cool. really and then, of course, you've got your standard Shoesmiths water bottles, pens, mints, sweets. We have Shoesmiths chocolate. So there's no reason <laughs> why you can't come and see us at the law fair. Um, chat to us. Find out some more information about Shoesmiths, about train, a training contract with us, find out about us, and of course, grab yourself an awesome uh, freebie as well. Now, I have noticed that there is a question that's come through um, from Kat, and she says, sorry if it's already been asked, but would you prefer a student to communicate their experience and qualifications to you um, uh, or, and give you a CV at a law fair, 
or contact you via LinkedIn or just through applications. So Kat, um, at the Law Fair, absolutely, if you're talking to us, you can ask us, um, can I add you on LinkedIn? Can I follow you on Twitter? That's absolutely fine. And of course, we'll share our details with you. Um, it's really important to build up your networks. Some firms may take a CV off you, or if they're recruiting for paralegal positions or um, placement opportunities, then there might be an opportunity to share your CV. We don't take CVs off you for training contract opportunities because it just goes through the application process. But it's a really good idea to turn up to a law fair prepared with a few printed out. Yeah, so it's a proactive question. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. And uh, have a look again at firms' websites because um, they, you know, they may be able to tell you um, if they do take CVs, something like that. Yeah. Perfect. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much, Gabs, thank you. for uh, <laughs> joining me today. And um, make sure you tune into our next video. All of our events are listed on our Facebook page and on the Meet Us page on our website. So we'll make sure we share all the links that we've promised. And I look forward to seeing you at Law Fair soon.